everybody, it's Vanda and I'm coming to you. Oh, we have a visitor. Hi, Miss Key. Poor Pearl. <laughs> Miss Pearl, can I please record my video? Everybody doesn't want to see your butt. Can I please, can I please record my video? Miss P, I know you were very popular and people got to hear you drinking water, but you need to, no, you need to, you need to, you need to get down. I know it's like our usual like work time snuggle time, but like, I know it's work time snuggle time, but I'm not actually working. I'm trying to do a video, which is like fake work. It's not real work. I don't even know if you could see her. She's probably too close. Okay, but bro. Please don't, please, okay. Miss B, oh, are you rubbing on the microphone? Are you giving everybody love and? Are you giving them hugs? Are you giving them hugs? Are you saying hi, everybody? Okay, okay. For Pearl, okay, no, you're gonna break stuff. Okay. Give me, give me a couple minutes, for Pearl. I gotta do this video, then we'll snuggle. Then we'll snuggle, for Pearl. So I don't have my pen with me. It's in the other room, and I don't feel like going to get it. But here is our ink. Standard Bindery Clear Seas. Um... It's this really pretty, like, greeny, greeny, um, the sheen is kind of, like, purpley, and the, there's shimmer on this side that, um, came from this, because this shimmer, it's really loose on the page, and I had somebody ask about it, um, it just kind of sits on the page, and you can, like, rub it away, so it is kind of, like, especially if it's, like, super saturated like that, like, it just, like, it rubs right away. Now I'm all covered in rose gold, which I don't mind, but it has, it transfers. And I believe that, uh, Count Over Creepy Nibs had similar problems with, uh, Vintahulia. I think it's just the shimmer that they use. Um, but, um, it's really pretty, but if that, that is a thing that bothers you, then I would probably maybe steer away from it. But, um, yeah, I think it's pretty and I don't, like, it doesn't, I mean, I've only used it for a day, so... <sighs> I don't even know if you saw that or if it was even in frame, but I could like, like blow some of the excess away. Um, but yeah, so that is a factor. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So here is our ink of day 12. We're going to move on to day 13, but first I had somebody in the comments and I'm sorry, I forget who it was. The username, the username starts with a T and I have just space, it just like flew out of my brain. So I'm sorry about that. I um, was asking how this compares to, uh, uh, Diamine Soft Mint. And I actually do not have a sample card of Diamine Soft Mint. I thought that I did, but I think I used that sample up before I started making swatch cards. So, um, I went ahead and pulled, um, I do not of course pull this one off. I went ahead and pulled some of the tealy inks that I had on my sample. Oh goodness, Pearl. Uh, she just attacked a feather on the ground. So anyway, she's going nuts. So I pulled some of the tealy blue ones that I kind or tealy ones that I had. Um, none of these are right. Um, here's Diamine Steel Blue. I think that actually compares better to Diam uh, to Lamy Tourmaline. Um, it's not the same and that's not showing up on camera correctly at all but um so there's that and then here's another popular one that people seem to like I, it, this ink is too light for me so i don't like in, using it but um this one is this one actually is pretty close like it's not exact but it doesn't have um my swatch card anyway doesn't have the shading that this does but i think that this is a pretty this is a little lighter but if you wanted something similar in an in ink because we can't find this one anymore um, this may be a good substitute. And then I had a swatch of Kobe Inks 48. Um, it's more blue, but there you go. I think honestly of the ones, of the cards that I've pulled, um, this is the best match. It's not exact, but of the ones that I have available to share with you guys, um, it's probably the closest. And these, ugh, this is not coming up correctly at all. Hopefully it looks better on the computer. But from my vantage point on my phone right now, it's not cute at all. But anyway, so yeah. So yeah, these all need to go back. This goes here. So all right, I did not pull my card for this one. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to mix it up and go to a completely different color family today. Um, you already know what that is because you have seen the title of this video. Um, it's Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red which I have here, corn puppy red, 
corn poppy red um it's uh mont blanc in one of their shoe bottles and um this ink i don't know if you can find it anymore i know that mont blanc um revamped some of their inks and i know that i heard that this was going away i ended up having a an email sign up notification um in stock notification at anderson pens and got an email about this one in irish green and i snapped them up like right away so i you may or may not be able to find this still of course i'm sticking a sample of it in the uh, giveaway for the end of the month um but yeah i think that they have other reds now but i love these bottles i think irish green you can still get but i think they reformulated some of the colors and some of the colors like this one are may no longer exist or maybe um, discontinued, I mean. That's a better way of putting it. These bottles are so fun. Um, I also have um, this ink bottle shape in the lavender purple, I think they call it. Um, they're really pretty purple color, which I don't, I think that also has been replaced. I'm not sure, I'm not certain. I'm just talking out of my, on my butt at this point. But anyway, yes. Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. This is my second favorite red. My first favorite red is an ink you also can't get anymore. Um, and I'm selfish enough that I don't want to share what I have left. So, <laughs> so, um, so we're going to do my second favorite red. To, um, I'll show you the card though because, because I can. Um, is this the right one? Yes. My uh, first favorite red is actually this Nemesine ink, Elis Palace Red. Um, you can't get it anymore. Um, and I had, I had a bottle, and um, my my dear 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 uh, pen bestie also it's their favorite ink, and. Um, yeah, they use it way more than I do, so I kept some of it and sent the rest off, and now I don't have it anymore. So, we're going with my second favorite red, <laughs> which I also love, and I have plenty to share. So, um, yeah, so I'm hoping with um, Birmingham doing their inks in-house that they will do an ink similar to this one, because um, I get the brothers mixed up. I think it was Josh that was Nemesine. Um, Nemesine. Uh, Nemesine? Nemesine? Uh, whoa, it just sounded like a Michael Jackson song. Um, yeah, so um, they're working together now all at Birmingham, so I'm hoping that um, he'll be able to bring some of his ink formulations from Nemesine to Nemesine. Why am I brain farting on that name right now? Please correct me in the comments. Count, please correct me in the comments. <laughs> um, Nemesine, right? Oh my gosh, anyway. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm not cutting this out. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I love this red and I hope that it comes back even though I have a giant bottle of this ink, of this corn poppy red and have no need for another red because it's not a color that I use often. Um, yeah, this is my favorite red and this is my second favorite red. So they're very close. They're very, very close. You can't tell in these cards, but they're very close. This seems to be a little more richer, a little richer and this is a little brighter, but yes. So this is the one that we will be using and this is the one someone will win a sample of. I just wanted to show this off because I'm a jerk. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to put this back. I'm going to close this up and put it back because my pen is already inked. The pen that we are using today is my uh, Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I forget what the finish of this one is. Yuki, Yuki Tsubagi? You, no, I'm saying that wrong. You... Kitsubaki, I think is how you say it. I'm not saying it correctly at all. I know that. Also, feel free to correct my pronunciation in the comments. Um, but it's the, it's like winter calla lily or something like that. Winter carnelia? Winter something. It's a flower with the sea, but it's white and it has the red speckles and it's very pretty. I typically prefer um like chrome trim rhodium trim silver silver colored trim on my pens um this is one of the few pens i have that has gold trim that it doesn't bother me um yeah so anyway and i chose red because the sparkles on here or the the speckles are red and i just wanted to use the sink so that's what we've got going on i don't know if i have enough ink do i have enough ink in here to splat i may need to i think i do oh yeah i do 
cool. So let me, oh, where's my little, where's my other little notebook? I just had it because I was showing it to you. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry. Um, cool. So day 13. And this is, this uh, pen has a, oh, I thought it was a medium fine. Oh yeah, it is. A hard um, medium fine nib on it. I don't know if I can get that to focus. H dash MF. And um, this is day 13. And the ink it is not blank. And the pen, oh, I could zoom in on that a little bit. And the pen is my sailor Pro Gear Slim. I'm gonna write it, but I don't know if I'm gonna spell it correctly. I think it's, I'm gonna put a question mark because I don't know if I spelled it right. I think that's how you spell it. This, oh, I love this red. This is probably as, as fine of a nib as I would go on a sailor pen. The medium fine. Oh, I'll put that on here. Hard, medium fine. Um, yeah, because it's just so fine for me. Other people prefer finer nibs, so if you prefer finer, even an even finer nib, please feel free to do whatever you want to because they're your pens. But Do, 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 do. Boop. 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 Cool. I don't use red very often. There is some of my hair. I am so sorry. Um, I don't shed as much as I used to because I just got my hair cut, finally. And I'm gonna do some of these guys. And yeah. So yeah, I know that um, uh, Anderson Penn sells Mont Blanc inks and um, Drumgulls sells Mont Blanc inks. I'm sure there are other retailers, maybe Gold Spot pens. I don't know if Goulet does or not. I don't feel like they do. I don't think that they do. I think I've always had to get my Mont Blanc inks elsewhere. Maybe Van Ness pens does, I don't, I don't know. I know Anderson for sure does, because I think all the Mont Blanc inks I've ever purchased have come from Anderson's, Anderson pens. So um, yeah, so if you're trying to find it, um, check there. Bust out the old Google or your search engine uh, favorite, your favorite search engine. The ink flows really nicely out of this pen. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this combination. I don't think I've ever put this ink in this pen before. Uh, and the ink. But considering it's a pen maker ink, you would think that it should be a pretty good ink because you'd want it, you'd want it to work in your own pens. So, um, yeah, Mont Blanc. Okay. I purchased this ink because, uh, let me see, this 
is my second favorite red. I, I had gotten a sample of it because it was one of those inks that you always hear people talking about. Honestly, the standard Mont Blanc inks were, um, are inks that you usually hear people talking about as being like really good, really good inks, like lavender purple. Like when that first came, when I first saw that that was a thing, I had to have it. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. And I'm probably going to have to refill my pen. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of uh, what I do like in my like off time, not here obviously, but I do my like Hobonichi page. But I also have been journaling every day this month. I've had um, one or two days where I've had to like back journal a little bit just because like time got away from me. But um, yeah, for the most part I've been journaling every day and I have been like I have had to like go back I've been picking like a song a day and writing the lyrics down in my notebook and um, that I just like to write like songs that I like or sometimes I'll ask a friend to pick a song and be like pick a song and then I'll I'll write in there that my friend picked that song because sometimes it's like stuff that I don't listen to regularly or haven't listened to or whatever so um so yeah that way I'm not like what is the song um but yeah but I like doing that because other people listen to things differently than I do or like listen to other things than me and so it's nice to like expand your horizons in all things um yeah so it's pretty awesome plus I have a memory of a friend picking a song for me <laughs> I mean not for me just a song but it's a song that you know was important en enough to them at the time to suggest it so it's in my book of songs um but yeah so I have been, so anyway, I've like gotten off traffic. So topic, so I usually will do a journal, which is usually a page in a B6 slim size notebook. Sometimes it's a couple of days it's been more than a page, either because my nib size is huge, like that Twisby Broad, um, or um, or I have a lot to write about. Um, I've been doing a song lyric day. Um, I also have my, you know, my Hobonichi page for Instagram, and I also have been pulling a tarot card a day. So yeah, so I've been doing a lot of writing with my pens lately, and it's been super fun, and I think I'm just going to continue doing that. I don't think I'm going to obviously switch a pen every day, like, going forward, but um, I like the exercise. It's been like a good wind down after work, like, before, I, before bed sort of thing, just to kind of like get all stuff get all the stuff out on paper and just like out of my brain and hopefully I can sleep and stuff and it's been a fun exercise anyway so yeah so 30 inks has been a good part of like developing that habit because I have been consistent about my journaling instead of like just doing a journal page and then like eight days later let me do another one like I'm you know I'm getting stuff out of my head so it's it's I mean not that there's a lot of I was gonna say not that there's a lot of stuff in my head but then that makes me sound like an airhead <laughs> anyway I'm gonna stop talking now and um yeah so anyway 30 inks has been fun and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting to use the sink now and um I may have to rank my pen so <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, we'll see you tomorrow with another ink, because tomorrow will be day 14. I'm, like, really excited. This is fun. I'm enjoying my time doing this and working with my own bottles of ink. Not that the samples aren't great, and I have way more samples than, than is necessary, but, um, yeah, it's fun. I might... Mm, Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point, so I'm going to let you guys go. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, what ink are you using today? 
are you, I mean, if you're participating, or just any ink. If you're using a pen that has ink in it, what pen and ink are you using? Um, yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Love you. Bye.